also you've been asked to apply for the PS. I'm coming to, I don't respond to all of them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Professor Gender, Mwishimua Nelson, Charles here, uh, Newtro, all these people, none of them uses chief share. All these people qualify. And they have a very comprehensive medical cover from parliament. That even if Ojenda has a cold, Ojenda will be flown to South Africa to the best facility to treat his cold. <laughs> So they are here, they are here telling Kenyans how great shift share is. Why can't we have this debate at Kenyatta Hospital or Mbagadi Medical District? You go and see what Kenyans are going through. You know, don't be con men because what you are doing, I'm sorry to use that word, my apologies, you're not con men. I was, I, was I was looking for a better word. Don't try to gaslight Kenyans that this thing is good, it's working, it's good for you. When you and your family, you've been covered and a very comprehensive and very comfortable cover. And I like when Professor Nidanyutu speaks. He says his main problem is shift share. It's something that the people are feeling. He's speaking from the ground. But these three wants to make it appear like everything is okay. Willis is just a whiner. You're just a complainer. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm in WhatsApp groups of many Kenyans today who keep adding me, asking me to help raise funds. In fact, people even tell me, don't even give us the money if you don't trust That's us. Today. Just go to a facility and pay for that directly. We will appear there to get cover. So don't try to tell Kenyans that Shif Shah is good, that it will be better. Tell Kenyans that Shif Shah is messing up their lives and your administration has failed to come up with a workable redundancy period to make sure that the transition from NHIF to shift share does not cause a loss of life. Because those who've died in between, even if after five years or two years shift share works, their lives will never be recovered. Their lives are they're gone. So you should have worked with the redundancy period to make sure that at this transition we don't lose lives. Then the second thing you people talk about, that we've not defaulted in our debt, Look at the constitution. What are the first charge? First charge of the consolidated fund, number one is debt. Number two is county. Number three is pensions. Those are the first charges. Pensions, pensioners have not been paid now more than five months. Is that not a default? Is that a first charge? Counties, the fight is still going on. They are the ones begging for counties to be paid even as we speak. Is that not a default? Look at... Uh, even some of the debts, the SGR debt. It's not default, it's delayed. No, 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 it is default. The it's default delayed. simply means it's delayed. the fact that at the point when it is ought to be paid, it is not. you've not been paid, you've defaulted, even if you cure it subsequently. <laughs> so there is already a default, but at what cost? At what cost? You are overtaxing Kenyans to pay for illegal debts. Debt that were taken without following the laws of this republic. Debt that were not applied to any project finance. Banks have given us 5.4 trillion shillings in the last 13 years, I mean 12 years. Where is that project that is worth 5.4 trillion shillings in Kenya today? That you can tell us, we borrow from the domestic banks 5.4 trillion. These are the projects that those 5.4 trillion finance. It doesn't exist. And what did parliament, yourselves, you don't even know what you approved. You people approved. In 10 years of gender, at least you are not there. You approved 2.2 trillion. How was the debt 5.4 trillion in that period? In fact, today, you are telling us the debt is almost 11 trillion. So even parliament, you need to do your work. You seem to pay more focus and attention on politics than doing your oversight duty. You don't even know that when you pass the Appropriations Act, how much have you approved for the government to borrow? This year alone, in terms of development finance, in your own appropriations act, was 300 billion. And of that 300 billion, your president goes out to say, I'm going to spend, I'm going to borrow 1 trillion because you rejected finance bill. Where did you, as parliament, pass that you are going to borrow 1 trillion? Because borrowing must get parliamentary approval. You need to understand and do your work as parliamentarians. Then I want to say this. If the economy is good, as you seem to imply, of course, for some of you, the economy is very good. And I look at your faces, you are very bright. But gender's suit is a bruny suit, he's shiny. Huh? He's wearing a golden ring. Huh? Charles is looking at his best. Are you naked? So are, you na are you naked, Willie? No, no, the economy no, is very good. No, 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 no,
The economy is very good for you three. Yeah. But for the Kenyan out there, we should be having this conversation at Jakaranda grounds so that we meet the real face of Kenyans. As we are saying, Kenyans, your economy is very good. You've avoided debt distress. You have jobs. You are doing well. Hallelujah. Hosanna. Jesus is coming. That's the only thing you are waiting for. The real situation on the ground that Kenyans are going through. The real situation. Don't carry up your hands. You, are, you, are talking, I I you people put your hands I down. I went to when I was talking, no, no. When I was talking, you did. You, when you were talking, I kept quiet. Sour. Can you learn to keep quiet and listen? Because I'm not saying these things to attack you. No, no. I'm just saying these on. things so that you can internalize them. And when you go back to your offices, you make sure that you do that which the Kenyan people expect you to do. Okay. So I'm saying this. Yeah. When we talk about the sufferings of our people, about the economy, families are sleeping angry. I was just yesterday with the University of Nairobi student who was telling me at the economics, School of Economics alone, they admitted 300, uh, admitted 3,000 3, students. Only 500 have reported in, that, in, this financial, in this academic year. Why? Because they are not able to afford. Majority of them have been forced to defer their studies. They cannot afford the school fees because you are told for you to report, you must pay the school fees full, 52,000 shillings per semester. And you must, sorry, 52,000 shillings, that is for accommodation, and the school fees is 150,000 Kenya shillings. And HELB is only giving them 20,000. If you're lucky, you get 40,000. Okay. And so let me say this. Yes. These Brief. problems that Kenyans are dealing with are real life problems. They are facing them every day. Let's stop pontificating. Okay. New to. Mm -hmm. I wish. Yeah, Nani, 